This is an Upper Baby Vista, and today we're going to show you what to do when the front wheels will not detach from the stroller. So normally, in order to detach the front wheels, you just pull this trigger to the side, and then you can pull out the wheel. Now, if you uh, haven't uh, properly lubricated and done maintenance on your stroller in a long time, these front wheels can get stuck in. It's a result of rust and grit and so on getting in the way. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in order to try to take these wheels off is to properly lubricate them. Now, in order to lubricate them, you're gonna to wanna to first turn the stroller on its side. Oh. And then you're gonna to wanna to spray in with something like WD-40 because uh, it is a metal axle, of course, and a metal locking pin holding this in place. I have here a generic WD-40. I'm just gonna spray in here from the side. And then I'm gonna turn the stroller all the way on its back and spray in a little more. The purpose of all of the turning and spraying is gravity. You wanna make sure gravity is gonna work for you and try to get all of that uh, lubricant concentrated around the axle and running down and into that locking pin mechanism. Spin the wheel a little bit, let it soak in. Okay, and then we're gonna try again to remove it. Now, if this is hard, what you're gonna to need to do is knock the wheel off while making sure to hold the uh, locking mechanism over. So I'm just gonna give this another uh, 10, 20 seconds for that lubricant to properly run in, and then I'm gonna turn the stroller upright again. So if lubrication alone has not allowed you to pull off this wheel when you uh, use the unlocking mechanism here, then you're gonna have to resort to more mechanical means. And uh, while you are trying to force this wheel out, it's important that you hold the unlocking mechanism or the lock unlocking mechanism in the unlocked position so that you don't break the uh, locking clip on the way out. Uh, you can start by using a screwdriver and trying to pry it Try to fit it in and pry it off. Uh, but if that doesn't work, what you're gonna need to do is hammer off this wheel. The wheel actually runs, the axle of the wheel runs through two ball bearings and there's no plastic shaft or anything between the axle and the ball bearings. So uh, in extreme cases, the uh, axle will actually rust directly into the ball bearings. Uh, in order to hammer out this wheel, the best thing to do is to partially disassemble the top part of the mechanism. Take a flathead screwdriver, something like this, and dig it in on the sides of the swivel lock button and you're just gonna pry it up on both sides, being careful not to break these pegs, kind of feel with your fingers as you go. Take that piece off, take out the spring, and then if you look in the top, you'll see that there are a uh, pair of screws. So there is a black screw in the back and a silver screw in the front. You're gonna remove both of those. This, is, uh, this tab has to do with the swivel lock mechanism. Here is the top of the axle poking out through the top ball bearing. There is a similar ball bearing at the bottom end. And uh, now what you're gonna wanna do, you can spray a little bit more WD-40 there and allow it to soak for a little bit. So now what you're gonna need to do is hammer out the head of this axle while holding the unlocking button in the unlocked position and without damaging this tag. Uh, what you're gonna need for that is something to prop up the stroller with so you can hold it. So place a box or something there and then just start hitting this until it starts to move in. And when it gets down past the lip of that uh, ball bearing, then you should get something uh, that will fit within that ball bearing that you can balance or press against the flat head of the axle to help you as you continue to knock your way down through.
So it might take a bit more hits for you to get yours to come out, but uh, eventually you can knock it down through this ball bearing and through the ball bearing at the bottom. I'll show you. That is uh, quite rusted. Now it is possible that you'll damage these ball bearings in this process uh, if it's really bad or that they're already damaged, in which case you're gonna need to replace them. Uh, we are going to do another video where we show how to open up the entire mechanism so that you could replace them. Uh, as it is now though, you'll want to thoroughly oil up both ball bearings. I'm using a WD-40 now for its solvent properties in a way because then I'm gonna try to wipe off the, the rust. You could also use a uh, rust uh, dissolving product in particular, or you could try to sand it out a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. You do want to work a bit on the rust on both the ball bearings and the axle. Then I, after that, I would recommend using a thicker grease. So right here I have Viral Fig, Viral Food Industry Grease. You could also use a multi-purpose grease from a uh, car manufacturer. Um, if you're having wobbling issues though with your strollers, I would, I would recommend something more like a silicon putty or this Viral Food Industry Grease because uh, it's not quite as slippery and it provides a certain traction layer while those multi-purpose car greases do not. But you want something that's gonna give you a little layer between the axle and this. And at first, you might have to force it a bit. I wanna just kind of figure it out if you have to push it in a bit and stuff at first. Eventually, it'll get easier provided you're using enough grease. So, after that, it's just a matter of reassembling the mechanism. Start with this piece. Screw the screws back in. Black in the back, silver in the front. Then after screwing those in place, I wanna put the spring right in the center over the ball bearing, and then you're gonna pop this piece back in place. There are these two plastic tabs here and here. They have corresponding uh, slits in the corner and in the center here. And on this side is the catch for the white piece. Uh, if you're having any trouble with the swiping, swivel lock mechanism, you might want to uh, lubricate this as well. You can use some of the thicker grease here with a little WD-40, or if you want to clean all that up uh, and use a silicone spray, then that can work as well. But in any case, you just want to pop this in after placing the spring and press it down and it'll all click into place. So, in any case, that is how you fix a stuck front wheel that won't uh, be removed, is unwilling to be removed, from a um, Up A Baby Vista. We hope that this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.